Hello and welcome everyone to Kenny Bear's Arm. Today, I am very happy to have you here. And I apologize right off the bat that this is not a range video. Um, but stay tuned to the channel because that is to come. Because today, I literally just got home with this. A 1943 Smith Corona Model 03A3. Yes, I am so stoked to have this in my collection right now. Holy moly, you guys. This is... I, I, I've been into World War II firearms and stuff like that for a while now. I've always had kind of a strong interest in that, uh, I guess, genre of firearms, if you will. And I, I, I don't know much about this one. And some markings up front here. I'll have to get some, uh, some more, like... B-roll footage and stuff for you guys. You can walk, look at that while I'm doing this, but I can't wait to take this to the range and try it out and see what it can actually do and what it's actually all about. Um, man, it's just cool to hold something that's such a big piece of history, like an actual weapon of war. You know what? You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, this isn't your old. This isn't your grandfather's hunting rifle, is it? No, this is. I, I I have no idea if this thing actually saw or served in combat, obviously, but this is definitely something that's up there in uh, the realm of coolness factor for me to want to like add to my collection. Um, leave your comments down below what you think I paid for this. I got this at a local auction, so auctions are kind of hit or miss, but personally, I feel like Without obviously taking it to the range and seeing if it's a, a good shooter or anything like that, uh, you know, it's hard to say, but boy, howdy, am I, like, the action feels very smooth to me for something that I know nothing about and stuff like that, but, and it, it's it's not like the, the cleanest thing, but dude, the rifle is what, 81 years old now? Is that my math? Is my math correct? <laughs> uh, so I, I guess I can't be that upset about it. Um, but I have no idea if it's numbers matching. Like, I, I've barely had this rifle in my possession. Like, that's, that's how fresh this is to me, you guys. And I, I'm just beyond excited to uh, experience this. I can't wait to experience it more. I don't really even know. So we got windage. We got some windage here. Looks like there's some elevation adjustment too. Not really sure. Oh, that just you just slide it forward. I see. So this thing is like this thing has looks like probably wow. I think like 100 out to like 800 meters on the, the ranging on this thing. Pretty crazy, man. The stock looks like it's in pretty decent shape from what I can see. Oh, there's just some weird kind of, I don't know if like these are, if that's just part of the uh, assembly process or if that was kind of some fill-in spots. Um, in the back here, it's got a little, a spot where I'm sure soldiers would have put their oil and cleaning stuff or their M&Ms um, or their uh, manga or hentai stickers. Uh, no, that's a different war. That's coming still. Um, you guys, boy, I am so excited for this rifle. I, I think it's just absolutely just, it's so cool. I'm, I, it's, you know, and of course there's, there's so many arguments to be like, oh, you, you bought it at an auction. You don't know what it is. You don't know what it's like beforehand and stuff like that. But you know, something like this, I, I, I just, I still think it's cool that I'm holding it in my hands. Like. Who knows the story of this one? Uh, if you guys have more knowledge on Smith Corona than I do, I, I, I'm assuming that like this hole in the side here is for venting just in case of like an overpressure cartridge or something like that. I don't know. Um, that is a big ass. That's a big ass hole there. But uh, but I just think it's such a. I think it's really neat piece of history and stuff. I don't know if there's a, it kind of looks like that maybe there's a bolt missing here. I'm not sure. Or if, oh, maybe it just screws into the bottom and that's just kind of where it threads in up there. But 
I, I, I know like almost nothing about this rifle. So if you guys want to educate me on this and then I can make a better video later on about this rifle, please, by all means do. I just noticed this cut right here. That's kind of interesting. I don't know what that, I don't know what that cut would be for. Oh, that's just for the bolt handle, but like, it's weird. So I don't know if it's like a, if maybe they put a different stock on here because that bolt does not fit into that slot there, that cutout there at all. It doesn't seem like it matches. So I don't know if there's some issue there or not. Um, yeah, the bolt is like a really shiny, almost like chrome looking, whereas the rest of the rifle looks more, much more worn. Um, but yeah, this is, it's a, I don't know. It's, I think this is a beautiful piece. I, I, regardless if I overpaid for it or not, I have no idea. Time will never tell me. Uh, maybe it will. I don't know. But it's just, I don't know. For some reason, I'm just so fascinated by rifles like this and just the history and the provenance with them and stuff like that. I, I probably will never be able to find out much provenance about it or history about it. But like I said, if you guys know more than me, feel free to leave them in the comments. Man, it's just pretty, it's pretty damn neat to hold, I'm holding this in my hands. I, I, I think that I, beyond, beyond anything else about it, I think that is without a doubt, super cool. Like the serial number range when I looked it up was 1943. So like that to me right there is really cool. Um, really cool. <sighs> I don't know what you saw, buddy. Maybe you didn't really see anything. Maybe you just lived your life in a, a rack somewhere and you didn't, not the country, like an actual like storage rack. But either way, man, freaking sweet rifle. I can't wait to try it out and shoot it and experience it, man. It'd be super fun. That's all I got, I think, guys. Like, comment, consider subscribing if you're new here. And uh, yeah, take it easy, be well. And again, third, this is like the third or fourth time I mentioned. Let me know what you think about this rifle in the comments. Let me know any knowledge you have on it. I'd be very, very curious to hear. I feel like that bolt is different, though. The bolt just looks different from all the mechanisms behind it here, the safety and the uh, hammer and all that stuff, or plunger or whatever. Anyway, that's all I got, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I'm super stoked to have this in my collection. Yep. <laughs> I'm giddy, man. I'm. I'm pretty stoked. Woo! Oh, yeah.